Hi there, today I'm going to show you how to assemble the Runt Rover half pint. For this project you'll need a Phillips head screwdriver. For the first step we're going to attach our motors to the side plates by feeding our wires through the square holes in the plates and then lining up the output shafts of the motors into these side holes. Once you have that lined up you, go, you can uh, feed, head, feed your screws through the holes and then attach them using the provided nuts. Once you have those on you just tighten them up with your screwdriver and you'll do this for each of the motors. Now this part is pretty repetitive and it's just kind of the same thing over and over again so while you guys do this I'm gonna speed through it and then once we get to this point, I'll ask you to go ahead and pause it until you get your motors on, and then we can move on to the next step. Alright, so for the next step, you're going to attach your side plates to the end plates. Now you have two different end plates, one of which has a notch on it and one does not. For our first step, we're going to use the one with the notch on it. And we are going to snap that into the side of your plate that does not have this little circle here. So we'll snap that together again so that your rough side is facing out. We'll take our other plate again, motors and rough side facing out, and snap that in as well. Once we have that together, um, we can put in our, our middle plate. Now this thing, uh, you have really a bunch of different sets of holes where you can set this up. You have these two here and these two here this way, this way, this way, this way. And this can really go in any of those ways. Just kind of depends on what your project is. For uh, this one, I'm going to go ahead and put it in and snap it into the side that we just put together. So it just kind of sits there. And then I'll take the top door plate and stick that into the side with the holes on it, into the holes. And that'll sit together like that. And to close it off, we we'll just take our other end plate and snap that in place. Finally you'll take your bottom plate and line that up with each of the snaps and just like the other ones it just goes in one at a time and snap it all together. Last but not least slide each of your motors onto the output shafts. And it's really just that easy. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy your Runt Rover.